a team like the Bears, you look at the Bears, they just went toe to toe with the Steelers, who are, you know, one of the five franchises in the NFL that's consistently good and went toe to toe loss, but really looked good. And you look at the way they're bringing Justin Fields along, he looks really good good yeah your man like once he has guys other than like marquise goodwin and darnell mooney he's gonna and that's gonna be a good team like i think the bears are gonna be a playoff team next year they're setting themselves up the patriots look at a team like they're gonna be good next year the niners are the niners going to be good in 2022 do you feel confident about that team grant i i <laughs> That's that's the problem that I have, right? So one of the rebuttals you get when you say Kyle Shanahan has to be fired is they're going to be good. They're going to be fine. He's going to get at least one more year. They're going to turn it around. You got to give him one more year with Trey Lance. I don't think that's going to happen. What's going to magically change? I have no confidence in Kyle Shanahan. At this point, all of the guys that you're going to need to contribute from this year's draft class next year, and trust me, you're going to need a lot to contribute because you have 32 free agents, I believe. They're not going to have any playing time. So how are they going to contribute? And then and then Kyle Shanahan, who proves he doesn't like to play rookies, is going to have a whole nother draft class that may or may not hit, probably won't because it doesn't seem to normally for him. And he's going to have to play those guys too because they, they don't have money to sign free agents. They have a projected $8 million towards free agents next year, Grant. Yes, they're probably going to offset Jimmy. I get that. But when you have 32 free agents to account for, and you have Bosa's contract, Debo's contract looming, you are not going to be able to cover the team very much through free agency with no $8 million. Round. No first round pick. Exactly. So... No, I think the sobering look ahead is that it's not going to be much better next year. I, I don't see how it can turn around hold next on, year. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's oh, They got nine games left. This is why we feel there's urgency to start Trey Lance. Yes. Play the rookies. If Trey yes. Lance could get nine starts this year, that's definitely better than nothing. I mean, Lamar Jackson got seven starts his rookie year. Joe Montana got seven starts the year before he became the, full, the full-time starter in 81. Like sure. nine starts would be great. He's not going to get nine, but well, he could, right? Cause he got one already. There's nine games left. He could get nine. If he starts against the Jaguars, that'd be great. Yeah. That would be great. That's why we feel like, I mean, the whole thing is I understand Kyle saying, I can't just give up on the season. I got to make an honest effort to win these games. We don't have a first round pick next year. Fine. But every game you lose with vets out there is a, is just a total waste. There's nothing positive about it. Oh, Drake hurt Patrick, learned a valuable lesson. Who fucking cares? <laughs> He's not going to be on the team next year, okay? Josh Norman, like, I'm sorry that I, I'm sorry for cursing earmuffs. Who <laughs> fucking cares that Drake hurt Patrick learned something, all right? These need to be rookies. And if, if, if Ambry Thomas made the mistake, you'd be like, all right, well, he's going to be better in the future. Like, th it's bleak right now because Kyle's being so stubborn. And you lose to the freaking B team of Arizona with your vets and Ambry, you know, Ambry Thomas didn't get better. Aaron Banks didn't get better. Trey, Trey, Trey Lance didn't get better. Trey Sermon didn't get better. Like, that's awful. It's so bad. Come on, Kyle. I'm sorry that I'm cursing and using the F word over here, but come on, man. It's everyone understands how bleak it is right now. And you need to give Niner fans a reason to believe in you in the future. Yeah, but I mean, okay, I think we both are on the same page that Jacksonville's the game where Trey Lance starts. Yeah. But I feel like we've said this four or five times this season, Grant. Is What do you think the chances are? Do you think the chances are better that he doesn't play Trey, or Trey Lance a lick of games the rest of the season unless there's an injury? Do you think that percentage is higher, or do you think the percentage is higher that if they lose, which they should, if they lose this week, that Trey Lance actually starts against Jacksonville? Because I, I think we're looking at a 50-50 here. If they lose this week and Trey Lance doesn't start against Jacksonville, I'm going to curse more. I'm going to curse more. <laughs> I'm going to. I don't. I don't understand it. I understand. I guess I get it at this point, but I, at, at the same time, 
he seems like a classic coach who's not giving a rookie uh, a, a chance. He just decided yeah. in, in August that he wasn't ready. Give him a chance. The Bears are doing right by Justin Fields. You know, we've talked about this on Twitter, but if Justin, if the Niners had drafted Justin Fields instead of Trey Lance, you know what? He wouldn't be playing. No. He wouldn't be playing. And if, if the Bears had Trey Lance, he'd be playing. And he'd be looking good. I feel bad for Trey Lance. I don't trust the 49ers' evaluation of him at all. Or or, or their evaluation of Trey, uh, Trey Sermon at all. I feel like what I they're agree. doing is just unfair. Unfair. I agree. I agree. It's totally unfair. And you're right. If Justin Fields was on this team, he also wouldn't have played a lick. So same situation. And by the way, if Justin Fields was on this team, we saw what his first start looked like. If they threw him out there against Arizona – and they had, I don't know, negative one rushing yards like he did in his first game for the Bears. Oh my gosh. Would he ever see the field again with Kyle? I'm not sure he would. <laughs>